So now let's get technical on how to use the Expo disc to set your custom white balance. Here in the studio, I have a strobe set up, and I'm gonna, I've already metered this strobe to be appropriate exposure for my model. So I step back near my model, simply cover the end of my lens with the Expo disc. I go into manual focus on a Canon camera because unless it's able to focus, it won't let you trip the shutter. On a Nikon, other brands, it's not so important for that. But I'm going to look right back from my subject's perspective at the strobe and fire that at the exposure I'd already set. That gives me an 18% gray frame. Now, once I have that frame, all I need to do is go into the menu setting and set it for custom white balance. To get the exacts on your model of camera, you can go to expoimaging.net. Go into the camera tutorials and it'll show you step by step with the exact model that you have. Let's get some before and after shots with our lovely model veil. Let's start out with some auto white balance shots so we can compare them to our custom white balance shots later on. And then we're going to kick it into strobe because we are using a flash. We'll use the flash setting to get a couple comparison shots. And now we're going to go ahead and set for the custom white balance flake. I'm gonna, okay, here we go. So now let's take a look at how to use a speed light or a shoe mount flash and get the proper custom white balance exposure using the Expo disc. Obviously, since it's not off camera, we can't do like we did before and go to the subject and aim back at the flash. So now what we're going to do is explore a couple of possibilities outside of that. One, I can actually, in this situation, bounce the flash off from the background and the subject and get all of those colors again averaged in. The only time that I can't do that is if my subject is backlit. If they are, what that means is that color coming from the light behind my subject could be different and it's not going to fall on the face of my subject so I don't want to average it into the exposure. In that case I would literally have to get to a point, some point around there to bounce the light off from whether it be some white source, light colored source, bounce the light back to incorporate all those colors. There's a lot of flexibility because of that prism in the front of the Expo disc, so you can get away with quite a bit. But in this case, we'll make it very simple, bounce it off the background. I'm going to do that now and get a nice reference frame to work with. I'm going to again go into manual focus, and there we go. I have a nice 18% gray frame. We'll shoot an auto white balance first and then in strobe and then we'll do it in the custom white balance again and take a look at the results. Now in this case I'm shooting an ETTL in my, with my strobe and so it's metering it for me but just like we did before setting up with a metered manual strobe is just fine to do with this if you want to break out the meter set it up ahead of time and then take your reference frame. You can use your Expo disc to set an average exposure as well as your custom white balance and when we're using an ambient light source or a solid light source such as this hot light we have here in the studio we simply, to get that measurement, put the disc over the end of the lens, just like we did for the regular custom white balance, go into aperture priority or shutter priority, whichever your preference is. And in this case, I know I want to shoot my shot at f8. So I'm where the subject would be. I'm set for f8 and aperture priority. I aim into that constant light source and take the reference frame. What has happened now is that has, the Expo disc has actually given me an average exposure and I can go in and look at the gray frame and it tells me what that shutter speed it chose to average it was. I can go into manual mode, set it for that setting and I'm ready to go. The same applies for outside when you're shooting under sunlight. You can aim right up at the sun with the disc over top of the lens, take your reference frame, use it to set your average exposure and to set your custom white balance. 
So remember, for detailed instructions on using these products with your exact camera model, feel free to go to expoimaging.net. There's a lot of other information there on photography that you might find useful. I appreciate you joining me today, and I wish you good shooting.